You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. The man charged with shooting Baltimore County officers and stealing one of their cruisers has been found guilty on all charges. This happened in February of last year. Police got a call for a person in crisis when they tried to go inside. 26 year old David Lenthicum shot one officer, then barricaded himself inside the home, but later escaped. The next day he shot another officer took their police car and led police on a chase to Hartford County. He was caught a few days later in the woods near the Falston Mall. Linthicum was found guilty of four counts of first degree attempted murder, multiple assault charges, as well as an armed carjacking. Massive fire leveled a popular farmhouse brewery Thursday morning. Flames engulfed the tap room at the Red Shedman Brewery and Hop Farm in Mount Airy around 3.30 in the morning. The brewery says it is now closed now for the foreseeable future as it recovers from the devastating fire. Luckily, no one was inside the building and no injuries are reported. The brewery's sister company, Ligonor Winery, is on the same property but was not affected and will remain open. Still no word yet on exactly what caused the fire. Should green card holders and undocumented immigrants have the right to vote in elections? Well, one Maryland city says yes. Frederick is now the largest city in the state to allow non-citizens to vote. Roughly six and a half thousand non-citizens live in Frederick. The new law only applies to local elections, not federal or state. Non-citizens must prove that they legally live there to be eligible. Convicted felons are automatically ineligible. Supporters of the change say all residents should have a voice because they pay taxes. But those against it argue it lessens the efforts of those working to earn their citizenship. The next local election, Frederick, is next year. Well, from music legends to up-and-coming Baltimore bands, Rams Head Live has entertained audiences for 20 years. Now the downtown staple is bowing out. Power Plant Live, who leases the space, says it plans to keep a music venue. Once Rams Head leaves, it'll close temporarily for upgrades and lease the space out again. No official closing date is announced, but concerts are only scheduled through November 15th. It's a wet end of the week, no surprise given how active it's been. But Friday's rain showers are a little different. It's actually from the remnants of Helene, or what will be the remnants, by the time that system gets here. It's the outer rain bands. We're not talking any damaging wind, but a steady rain most of the day. That'll spill over into the weekend. Saturday is on and off. Neither day is a washout. Scattered showers on Sunday. Of course, the Ravens in town hosting the Bills. We'll keep a close eye on that forecast. Monday starts off wet, finally drying out by Wednesday, Thursday. Kelly? All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.